here we are with summertime rendering episode 15 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode Yeah, I guess he panics now, slightly. Oh, she saw it happen. Maybe. Oh, they shared. Nope. And she realized that you get pushed forward. already dude okay this is way worse than i thought it would be <clears throat> so is this already the day where shit goes down yo this it's it is a 22nd so is this the night where the festival is already Dude, what are they gonna do? If if he gets killed one more time, as you just said, then he maybe has like one more attempt. So if he dies one more time, then that's it? Or does he mean if he dies one more time, then he has one more loop left? I mean, it doesn't really change much. I mean, this is like, what the hell is going on? And I mean, we are now only 15 episodes in. And there are like 20 plus episodes, 21 plus episodes, so. That basically means either he dies now, or. Nah, I guess he won't die. I mean, based on this, I think he won't die this episode, so I guess he will make some progress, and. I don't know, man. I, f I feel like a lot of episodes will happen now where basically the time moves relatively slow compared to before, because. Otherwise, how are they getting everything into the episodes, right? If time moves fast. Or he learns to control it, maybe. And they are here again where they can get killed, but he's not Zantos here. Okay, what happens then? Maybe he just dies.
Yep. <clears throat> Death. Of course she can. True. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's handy. But what if Heine is an exception or she day and it goes further than 50? Will we? I doubt it. They are all coming marching towards him. Like this, really? And they just don't kill him right away? And that's why I kill you. Oh my God. We couldn't see him. See, throwing the stone and kills him with it. The almost. It's like as if they skate around. Time to nail. <laughs> she has the babies with her.
So does she have full control over the babies? Not Heine? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh. Oh my god. Dude, this is like 4D chess. Oh ho ho. She didn't saw that coming. It's right out of outside of the window and she's like, what takes us so long? What's going on? Yeah, she can control them. Uh Why? How? Ushio. <clears throat> okay, okay, th okay, that makes sense, yeah. He's absorbing it. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh my, hello! <laughs> Goddamn! <laughs> Indeed. That's a lot of fire from a spray can. <laughs> is he a spider? No. Almost. More arms? I guess he is spider-like. What is this? Oh, is this oil or some shit? And they burn him? Yep. Didn't saw that coming. Sometimes they have future side and sometimes they don't. Seems like. Eh? I mean, that won't be enough. She's not burning? Okay.
Oh, he gets a gun. Uh. Oh. Not enough. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Oh. Oh, is she trying to ride her over? Something will happen. The big shadow. Oh, arms cut off. Eraser. No mercy. Don't talk shit. Killer. Oh my god, They he wants to burn her so that she's dead. Oh. Oh, oh, she wants a necklace. Oh, hair. Oh, she made a double of a duplicate of herself with the hair. Or will he be erased for good? I don't think so. That would that would be too handy. This episode, dude, what the fuck is going on? Is she gone? What is going on? After some restructuring, of, of course. <sighs> 
Dude, I thought he wouldn't die this episode, but maybe he does die this episode, and then the final loop begins next episode. Oh. Oh. So the final loop, he doesn't die this time. Right now. My goodness. <laughs> Okay. What are they gonna do now? I have no idea. So what did Highness scan? And does that makes me wonder does Heine have unlimited data she can copy? <clears throat> because Ushio is limited to how much she can scan, right? Before it's full basically. Could she do this with all the shadows? Cutting the connection? That would be crazy. Oh, the... Oh my god, yes! I was wondering, could she be... Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think, but god damn, what an episode. Um, Where do we start? Um, da -da -da -da. Let's start with the end, right? Um, I was a bit, I was a bit confused with what Heine did at the end. I thought she, from what they said, with um saving, scanning, and saving air. Um, I thought she had air saved, big amounts, and just unleashed that basically. But yeah, it she just scanned the air in the hall and just uh, erased it. That's what she did. And that's why Shinpei couldn't breathe, obviously. And why the uh, fire extinguished, because there was no air that could fuel the fire. And so, yeah, it makes sense. But interesting that it created a vacuum and that the air pressure from outside bursted the windows and everything. I don't know if that is what would really happen. Would be interesting to, uh, interesting to know if that would really happen. That if you suck out the air inside a building all at once if the air from outside would just burst, comes in bursting in, um, or not. I think not. That seems kind of weird, but maybe it would. I don't know. Um, and so, yeah, that's interesting. Makes me wonder if, how much Heine can, like, save stuff, like scan and save data, because Ushio is very limited on it, right? So makes me wonder how that goes for Heine. If she is limited, I think she has just like a way bigger, uh, like, <clears throat> I guess she can save way more before it's like full compared to like Ushio. 
um, because again, Ushio said that she couldn't do this what uh, Heine did now, um, scanning so much air and erasing it basically at once. So I guess she is just like above what normal shadows can do. And then yeah, what we what happened at the end is basically as soon as they said that Ushio can sever the links, um, I thought immediately like, then that's what they should do with Mio <laughs> to get the the shadow Mio on our side, and that's what they gonna do now. And I thought like that they can basically basically do that with all the shadows. That could be pretty big, but they can't do it with the Shide shadow because it's basically part of Heine, I guess, from what they said. And it got a bit confusing that they said that there's a body inside Shide and Ushio, when she scanned him the last time, she didn't saw that he was a, sh a, a shadow, a copy of anyone, right? But I guess that's the difference be because he's not the shadow of someone. He's just like having a person inside and I guess Ushio couldn't see that when she scanned him, right? <coughs> because she scans a shadow, but not if there's something inside, I guess. Um, which is interesting. Who is in uh, who's in shite? Who is inside Shide? Who could it be? <coughs> Maybe the dead body of Hizuru's brother? But I don't think so. Maybe? That would be crazy if he is inside. But I mean, he should be rotten by now. So who could be inside? <coughs> Do we know what happened to Shinpei's parents? Maybe Shinpei's dad is inside or something. That would be crazy. It must be something crazy, right? It, it can't be like, oh, some random person from the island is inside. That It must be something crazy that is inside Shide. <coughs> and then you're also funny that uh, Shiori, Heine, whoever, um, was like, what takes Mio so long when she just has to look left side outside of the window and could see what happens to Mio, what takes her so long? <laughs> because they were like right next to the uh, to the yard, whatever, where they uh, fought or whatever, or like, I don't know what to call it right now. Um, but yeah, it was like right next to the window. She just had to look outside. And yeah, the whole thing with like... Um, Heine being able to see some parts of the future and not others got me confused, right? I so I said like, wait, she can't see what Negumo sees, but she can't see that Nezu, the hunter, was shooting her and that stuff and other things she couldn't see. But I guess that's because, after thinking about it, I think that's because, like I said last episode, I guess uh, part of the ability to see the near future went over to Hizuru, right? So maybe they share the same thing, basically. So basically, Heine can see what Negumu or Hizuru sees, and Hizuru can see what kind of like Heine can see, I guess, somewhat. But I mean, if they share the same thing, and Heine can do the same thing that Negumu can do, then Heine should be still able to see what would happen. And that would be that, Neg uh, ne that Nezu was shooting her. So, still a bit confusing, I guess. <clears throat> but maybe just Negumo, Hizuru, whoever, has the ability. And so Heine can see what she can see, basically. Maybe Heine herself can't do it, but Hizuru can, and Heine can just see that. Maybe, I don't know. It's a bit confusing, I would say. <laughs> But I mean, there's lots of stuff that is a bit confusing and we don't know exactly how it works and all that stuff. So, yeah. And then, yeah. We still didn't got to kill uh, Shiori, Heine, whoever. Um, because I guess Ushio was a bit hesitating and that was enough for Shide to grab her and all that shit. Of course, I mean, otherwise the anime would over, <laughs> would be over now. Um, but yeah, crazy episode, I would say. I mean, lots of crazy stuff, action and all that stuff. And so, yeah. Crazy. Can't wait to see what happens now. Because I'm wondering... Um, if... 
Chimpe dies again. They said that he has only one loop left. But was it because he was at risk of dying? So does the time where he respawns, does it move the same speed, progresses the same speed as real time? So no matter how much, how long he lives now before he, the loop starts, is it moving the same speed that he always spawns like 15 minutes or whatever or 20 minutes behind? If yes, then maybe if he won't die now and he won't, he will go on for a while. Maybe he will die at a position where he can't really recover from, right? What happens if he makes it up to the festival and then maybe the last 10 minutes before everything is set in stone, he dies and then the, he respawns like 10, 15 minutes earlier, but he can't really change much and do much and can't really recover from it and then it's basically like game over right or is it that the time where he respawns has a different time flow than the time where he is now like the actual time so that maybe the longer he survives maybe he can maybe he can live long enough so that if he respawns he maybe gets another like loop out of it but i guess from what they said it seems to be the same speed as real time so no matter what happens he only has like one loop left but again if he dies at a bad position maybe he can't recover from it i would say but i mean it will probably have a happy end so he will recover from it and i guess he will die again so that it gets really dr uh, really dramatic where it's like he only has like one loop left he dies now he has only this one chance and shit goes down and here we go so yeah but i mean still will be interesting because we don't know will everyone survive will someone die i guess <sighs> I guess it will be interesting to see where it, go where it goes now. But I mean, we are now at episode 15, I think. Yeah, 15. So there are like 21 episodes currently. I think there will be 22 and 25. So there is lots of stuff left. So it will be very interesting to see where it's going. But yeah, I'm just talking. And so yeah, dope episode. Loved it. Can't wait to see where it's going. And yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching until next time. Bye-bye.